Raptor fans, I'm here with one of our littlest falcons, the smallest species of falcon in North America. They're called the American Kestrel, and this here is Watson. If you can tell from his name, he is a male, you can also tell just by looking at him. Most raptor species don't have color differences between the females and males. Typically the only difference between them is females are usually larger than males. But with American Kestrels, they actually have color sexual dimorphism, which is a fancy way of saying the females and males have different colored feathers. So Watson here has a very handsome polka dotted belly, and he also has very beautiful blue-gray wings. His tail has some uh, white and black on it, and a re really nice bar at the bottom of his tail. The females actually have more brown streaking on their bellies and they don't have that beautiful blue gray on their wings. They have a little bit more brown and black barring and their tails have much more brown and black streaking in them. Now with females in the wild, typically what these birds are going to be doing are uh, raising babies. So they're going to have eggs that they'll have to incubate and they definitely don't want to attract predators. They don't want to attract any attention to their babies. So they want to blend in. Their camouflage is very specific for blending into trees, blending into the nest. With males, they don't want to stick out too much because they are a pretty small bird. They can be um, prey to many other animals. But, oh, Nice rouse. <laughs> but the males also do want to show off for a female mate. So they want to show off to the ladies and make sure they look extra, extra handsome. And just like uh, the peregrine falcon that we were talking about earlier, you can see he has malar stripes underneath his eyes, and that's the same idea. It'll help keep the sun out of his eyes. Now, Watson out here is very excited to look around, and he uh, is pretty focused on things sometimes, and that allows him to keep his head very, very still. And you might be able to see as I move. Maybe if he's focused, or maybe there's too many exciting things to look at. Oh, there is a little one. If he focuses, oh, there we go. His head will stay still even if his body is moving. And he might do that a little bit more while we're out here. That's gonna help these birds especially when they're looking for prey. Even these little guys are hunters, and they often will be hunting for prey over open fields. And a lot of times they'll fly down over the ground, and they'll do something called kiting, where they kind of hover in the air. If they spot a prey item and the wind blows them off course, it can be really hard for them to keep track of it. So keeping their heads nice and steady is gonna be helpful for them to find their prey. Now this little guy is capable of eating uh, rodents, uh, insects and mice so they're really helpful to have in your yard and hopefully you'll start seeing them soon where you're living. We hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching.